Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. I hope you all are doing good out there. I hope you all are staying safe. I know I'm trying to stay safe as much as I can. I keep my uh, Clorox wipes on deck. Uh, but honestly, today I just had to get outside of the house and uh, I decided I'm gonna kind of go drive around Walt Disney World property. I just want to kind of drive around there, see see uh, if there's any cars at all pretty much. Just kind of check out how deserted it is at these places because this is like a very historical event. Nothing like this has ever happened before. So I kind of just wanted to document it a little bit, drive around, get out of the house and uh, bring you guys with me. But don't worry, I will not be getting out of my car at any of these places. Uh, still gotta stay smart. Uh, I'm just gonna be basically driving around just in my car the whole time showing you guys. So I'm not gonna be getting out anywhere. And before anybody tells me that I'm trespassing by going over here to Disney World, no, I'm not. These roads are, you can still come on the roads. You just, you can't go into the parks, you can't go into the resorts, you can't do anything like that, but you can still go on these roads. They're perfectly, perfectly fine to go over here. And here it is. This is the entrance I'm gonna be going in today, Walt Disney World, right over here, 535, State Road 535. This is like the Disney Springs kind of entrance, is what I call it. You can see there's nobody on these roads right now. There is still quite a few cars over here at the Reedy Creek Improvement District building. Still still a lot of cars over there. As you can see there, it says Lime Garage is closed. Um, except I think that there's still like a couple things at Disney Springs that are open, like some of the places to eat. And there's, there's a lot of cars parked over here by like World of Disney and stuff. I think that's where they're sending everybody to park because all the garages are closed right now. Very, very strange to see the roadways like this. I, I've never seen this before. This is the first time I've been back on Disney World property since uh, everything closed. Now the parks right now aren't completely abandoned. Like there's still some cast members in there. There's like security cast members making sure that no one is in the park. Uh, I think there's probably some leaders at different places as well. Nobody's flying in the sky on the Skyliner. So strange to see the world's most popular vacation destination completely empty. There's the construction on the new Cove Hotel by the Swan and Dolphin. It's hard to see through all the trees. Grand Destino Tower at Coronado Springs. Right here actually is the brand new renovated McDonald's. This uh, was a McDonald's in the past, but it was kind of old school, but they're redoing it. It actually looks really nice. Looks like they're still working on it. I thought all construction had stopped, but I guess not, not on McDonald's. And it's pretty weird because uh, this is actually gonna be the very first time that I miss a construction update video in like, over a year so that's unfortunate but i guess this is kind of like a little construction now i show you guys a couple things that were under construction and there is actually a view of the star wars hotel very hard to see through all the other construction on the roadway but that is uh, supposed to be the star wars hotel some rumors floating around that the budget is going to get cut a lot so i don't know if uh, the star wars hotel will even ever be built there's another view of the cove hotel by swan and dolphin So all of the buses 
at Disney World are actually currently being stored and parked over here in the Magic Kingdom parking lot. You can see them all right here. It's a whole lot of buses. Here we can actually see some Tron construction. No construction is going on right now though because Disney canceled all the construction. But you can see it right there. Good view from the back side. See the back side Grand Floridian over here. Here's the Disney golf courses, Palm Magnolia, and I forget the other one, but uh, actually the golf courses are still open. You can see some people playing golf over there. Golf course actually looks a good amount of people over here at the golf course as I'm driving around. Looks like every single hole has uh, a group on it. I guess uh, you're allowed to play on the golf course because uh, usually for golf, when you golf, there's only probably about four people in a group. So I guess that's uh, good according to the CDC. I'm not too sure. So there you guys have it. We drove all around Disney World property, looked at what empty Disney World is like. Uh, it was kind of weird. It was very weird actually seeing nobody on the roads that are usually super busy. Um, but honestly, it was kind of like refreshing to just go and drive around Disney World. Something about it was refreshing to me. I actually did enjoy just driving around. I didn't get out of the car, just drove around, uh, kind of just took it all in a little bit. Uh, it, you guys can do this as well if you're in the Orlando area. You can just drive around Disney World. Just don't get out of your car. Uh, pay attention to all the rules, all the signs. Don't go places you're not supposed to go. And uh, yeah, I, I feel like you would have a good time. Uh, this is the only really thing you can do at Disney World since the whole coronavirus thing is closed. Except you can go play golf. I guess you can do that. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like down below. I'm going to do the same thing probably in the next coming week. Driving around Universal Studios. I'll drive around International Drive. See how that's all looking as well. So yeah, if you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe down below. Follow my Instagram and Twitter at MarcusQYT. And thank you all very much for watching. It's kind of fun to do the impossible. And I'll catch you on the next one.